the two people that are going to be making that climb because they are yes. two super heavy momentum snowball type of big characters and type of people. But like we said, the winner side, we have to decide first what's going to be going on. Let's see who's going to be uh, sitting atop the mountain waiting for the, uh, the opponents to climb their way up. This is going to be, as we mentioned, three out of five. Our first three out of five set here in the top eight. It should be an absolute blast as well. I'll make a prediction. I think we'll go to game five. I can see it. I'll bet my channel points. <laughs> like, listen, man. Sometimes you got to throw them out there. But again, huge shout out to everybody who is continuing to watch here. Everybody in the arena. KOF continues to thrive here. CEO 2023. This has been amazing. You know, I got to steal the tech of the towel. The towel to wipe the sweat off your hands. I've been seeing that a lot. Specifically this week. <laughs> Dude, especially here in... Uh, listen, Daytona, it's a little hot. It is. It's, it's a, little, hot. a little hot muggy, a little humid. Yeah, keep it dry. I like that. <laughs> Here we go. Of course, Joe staying on point. And I mean, if you look at Wero's side, Wero is playing the quintessential top tier team here. Bijane, Kyo, Iori. Uh, you can swap out one of those characters for Cronin and it would still be just as strong. Esports, we call it. it. It is the esports team. Yeah, absolutely. But. Time to get it rolling here. Kyo versus Joe to lead it off. Winners, finals. Oh, nerve wracking. That's the real overhead shot there. <laughs> here we go, hopping right into it. This round start situation is going to be so important. We've seen a lot of players both backdash at round start, right? Not wanting to commit to an option. Ready? Instead, we're both, you know, a little bit of fireworks to lead us off here. Does get the trade. Is able to find the third Rekka. All right, throw in the corner already. Bad Tiger knee coming out. That is a huge life lead for Wano to start things off here. Checking to a, to a meaty. Gets the throw again. Already starting to establish the strike throw game early so that we can start baiting out the throw attempts, right, with those neutral jumps later on. Oh, got to go for the EX. There's a throw. The fireball waited for the roll, but it was a guard cancel roll, so you can't go for the punish there. You have to just wait and try and get advantage. We mashed the throw on Wake Up. And now we have the Kyo mirror match here. Of course, FK coming in with a lot of meter, but still has a long way to go. Nice DP coming out from Wero into the red kick. A challenging back. That's a punish as well with the EXDP guaranteed there. And it gives it right back to him, says, hey, that's a good trick. Yeah, I mean, that's one of the nice things is this character is so good at dealing with himself. <laughs> okay, synchronized text after the red kick. Not gonna get much, but again, that punish. Yeah, punishing everything with the EXD. We're just absolutely willing to spend the meter. Goes to the jump in. Nice. Gets the EX command grab as well, but still down to the wire. And the grab is going to take the round for Wero. And F King actually spent meter there, got caught in the startup. So now we're going down to our anchor character. Yo, still looking pretty good in green. Never mind. <laughs> Hold on. Get a grip of damage off of that. Two interactions. Only one more to do it, but there's the DP. That's one thing that can be hard about comebacks with Chizuru is she is very good at kind of uh, oppressing characters, but I feel like she takes a lot of incidental damage with people mashing on the clones. So there's the potential to take a ton of chip damage as this character while you're making your comeback. And we've been seeing a lot, and not only in the qualifiers yesterday, but in top eight, people have been willing to mash on those clones and check those clones, and that is a huge part of dealing with the character. And she's gonna utilize those clones as well to try and escape from the corner. Back to mid screen we are, but a nice jump in. Even this block string gonna push you all the way back. Oh, okay. Jump back air legs, the classic there from B. Genet. Just luring you into a false sense of security, thinking you have enough room to escape. Oh, what a trade. That was so low to the ground, just a weird interaction. And Clip, it seems like every single time FK gets out of the corner, they get stuffed right back in. But the guard cancel thinks we're going to escape, but answers back with a guard cancel of their own. And we are just spending a meter in so many uh, so many utility ways, not just for the damage, right? Instead, they gain spacing, they gain knockdowns. I really like the way that these players are utilizing their meter here. But Shizuru is able to take down Bijane, taking us to the anchor. Not a lot of life left, though. Yeah, anything, actually genuinely anything will do it here. One bad 2C. 
even a few bad clones will kill you at this point. But Shizuru does have that it factor when it's the 1v1, the seal, the high potential with the level 2. Especially on the anchor position, we talked about that a bit more. When you can seal your opponent's meter when they're in anchor, that is huge. There's the overhead, one more touch, but gets tossed back. Still okay though. Finally, it wears off, EXDP! Oh no, I was thinking that maybe Quero thought that as soon as the timer went off, he'd be able to kind of jump scare him with the DP, but it does not work out. FK, what a comeback! And the pop off as well here, look at that. The reverse OCV, dude, so insanely solid. All right, let's see now. Yeah, man, letting that DP rip. I think it would have worked if the clone actually ended up being Shizuru, right? If we chose to go all the way with it, but so smart to bait it out. Oh, okay. Jumps over the Rekka, the fireball. Yep, using that fireball, uh, the Rekka rather to uh, eat some of the fireballs is pretty effective. And I love the patience there also. The threat of the record coming out the moment that Wero lands is real. And you can tell that F King is feeling himself. That little pop off wasn't for nothing. Already putting in the pain here on Kyo. Okay, EX. Very nice follow up here. High potential for a stun, but it's not even going to need it. The super is just going to straight up kill. And Joe is going to go back to nearly full health. I love spending the super there to kill and not just taking, holding on to the meter because you're going to build that meter back, right? Joe started off with no meter to begin with, and you have full health. It's just like starting the game again, <laughs> except your opponent is down two character, down eight characters. DP attempt didn't quite work out. We've already seen one impressive comeback in this set already. Oh, there's the EX crack shoot, chasing down, getting the 2B, trying to go for the delayed 2B this time. Not going to quite work, but the air legs coming through. And this back dash is okay. And F is getting caught, just trying to overextend. It felt like anytime he pressed the button, he was getting stuffed by B. Genet. So now Wero able to tie things up here, keeping Genet very healthy and almost even on meter also. Yeah, and how you approach this matchup is going to be huge. That air approach, I was going to say, is a little bit harder because that vacuum effect on the DP is so good for answering these situations. And not only that, we've seen how willing uh, F King is to go for those DPs, right? There's the jump CD. Oh, the, the low. Oh, the reset hits with the low, just goes into the throw. Very nice there from F King. Now threatening to go up with a 2 0 lead if we can just take down this Iori. And there's the music change. I love the it. rival battle. <laughs> Oh. oh, okay, finds the cross up here. Like you said, plenty of meter to be able to spend here. Not gonna spend much though, gonna try and be frugal on this one. Oh, and punishing the 2D, utilizing the CD again. The way it pulls back, Foxy, it's just so good. It gives you so much room. 2C, not gonna work, but there's a scum gale. Into the fireworks. Yeah, this should be a dead Iori. No, we're not willing to spend the mirror. We want to hold on to it here for the Chizuru. I respect the decision, and it's going to pay off here. But look at the meter here, FK. We've already seen them. This character got three last time. <laughs> Maybe she's good for one. High potential here. Playing a little more lame. Does get the record for the frame trap. But the 2D comes out once again, unfazed. Just jumping over to swap to the other side. You gotta watch out for these clones again. Starting to get smothered by them. Oh, spacing. Yeah, that could have been a huge punish there if F King was ready for it. Again, yeah, this is that high stress situation. All these straight hits not able to lead to a huge combo, but instead it's Wero who puts out the huge combo. Gonna go for the DP, no follow up. Okay. And then spaces out. Willing to play it a little farther away. As distance closes though, be careful, potential for the level two. Again, that seal really was, the, was uh, kind of sealed the deal last time. <laughs> but here we go, we're getting a lot of these light confirms, right? Two A's into two B's, but we're not able to convert them into anything. And it is going to be Wero who converts into the fireworks and ties things up 1-1. One, one. Yeah, that command throw will be a big decider in situations like that. Drops the cap, but not for too far. Listen, consistent, in and out of game. <laughs> <laughs> Staying hydrated as well, wiping off the stick.
Dude, yeah, I mean, as far as adjustments go, it's just really, really back and forth. I don't think there's any, like, major macro decisions that need to be altered between the two. It's all just coming down to the little things. You can see F-King, a little bit of a mm. speaking to yourself, get you, getting yourself ready, the motivational. Ready? Yeah, Wero is all laser focused, and you can see that F-King wears his heart on his sleeve, right? Wears oh, his yeah. emotions on his sleeve here. But even though you can see he was a little shaken, he's keeping the nerves calm here and putting in the work, already getting that substantial lead once again. This has been a great matchup so far for FK. No, it really has. Just impeccable spacing as well. But unfortunately, that whip there is going to get you tossed into the corner. It blows through the Rekka. Draft towards the Rekka's does get the reset actually. It's gonna go for the EX. Extend it a little further. Doesn't have the meter to go for too much else though. Yeah, but the moment that he gained this corner position, F King's back has been locked against it. Finally able to get out, but again the EX DP vacuuming you in. This is not the way that F King wanted the round to go after he had such a high life lead, just one bad decision putting yourself in the corner and it all can crumble the corner is such a scary place to be in this game a nice sweep and record from max distance and is able to get it into the air to air a perfect come through didn't need too much to be able to get it though so now we're back to square one right full health with the meter lead as well so actually f King has the slight advantage here even after losing joe first here we go with the up legs. Putting you into a set play situation. Trying to go for the raw overhead. CD pushes so far it allows him to escape from the corner. Oh, and then actually corner himself afterwards though. Doesn't matter. An evasion and a throw into the corner. Looks for the overhead. Is going to activate, but it's not going to work out. Yeah, we really were trying to fish for that overhead, but now we have to make this meter count. Unfortunately, we go for the legs, and it's a punish. Not a huge punish though. FK still able to stay alive. But this one is a little bit more substantial into the knockdown. Oki with the fireball. Oh, oh and the shatter strike blowing through. Not enough beard to actually. Never mind. Don't need it. Yeah, listen, I was not expecting that last hit to do that much damage. Okay, excuse me. Listen, Miss B. <laughs> You're right, Miss B. I'm sorry, Miss B. Ready? Here she comes again, though. Three bars has been the deciding factor in most of these matches. Guard cancel roll. Unfortunately, still in pressure though, but it doesn't matter. Harrier to the wall. Oh, challenging with the 2B here, just keeping that pressure up. EX cracks you again and mixing up with the highs and lows. F King is finally able to find a way out of the corner. We do go for the level one to get the kill. That is the right decision here. You're gonna get a nice chunk of health back with that 44 seconds left on the clock here, and you're gonna need all of it that you can get going into Iori. Absolutely, and as also has an EX on deck, so there's the potential, depending on the confirm, depending on how neutral, neutral goes, can set themselves up to actually build a bar to go for the seal here, but that is not how this is starting. And here we go into the fireworks. EX with the Rekkas. dead. No, not quite. And there it is, wake up EXDP. Wero gonna go up 2-1 here. Of course, this is three out of five, but I think one of the big things we're seeing is that when FK gets put in the corner, he really starts to crumble, like when it comes to defense, right? He's having a hard time escaping from the corner without taking a lot of damage in the process. I agree, and also, it's just a funny note. Live by the sword, die by the sword. Game one loses on an EXDP on a big reversal. Game three wins it on a huge reversal with an EXDP. You love to get to see the... Uh, uh, that is an important fundamental in fight. Oh, hold on. Uh oh, we're making the swap. Okay. He so. said, Kyo no more. He left the leather jacket <laughs> in the alleyway oh, on the trash God. can. So instead, we're going to go to the bandana and the goggles. <laughs> Cronin's like Black Suit Spider Man. You know what I'm saying? Oh my God. <laughs> So with this switch, I mean, uh, so moving Chizuru up a little bit in the lineup here, a little less meter to work with, but potentially better matchups, and Cronin to have that explosive finish that you always know from this character. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, this is kind of a last ditch effort, too, because if you win this, you not, are not going to be able to swap your team anymore. Yeah, absolutely. Definitely committed. 
I think that's always one of the most nerve-wracking things for sure is that in, in a game like this, especially when you're a player who is uh, talented enough to play multiple characters, it's the double-edged sword of uh, should I switch, should I have switched, did I mess up by switching, right? There's a lot that goes into it. The game outside the game definitely starts to play a part, but for now, okay, looking good here on the Joe. Yeah, looking pretty even as well. Not scared of the trade at all, immediately sticking out the big leg. I like to check there with the 2B, stopping you from hopping out. Gonna be able to get the follow-up too with the Tiger Knee. And no, runs in, possibly to try and get a throw himself, but gets tossed. There's the legs with the full pickup on the Rekka series. And the strike throw game from Wero has been crazy. The way that he'll just stop short and then throw you. Oh, trying to roll, a little delay, slide comes through, but doesn't cancel, unfortunate stuff there. And the punish, an easy 2B. Absolutely, and I think this is honestly the biggest lead that Wero has had with Yo so far in this set. So F-King is really gonna have to fight hard to bring things back, as Wero's making those adaptations. But this is exactly how you do it, with the level one, shutting down Yo. And this is the matchup that we won, right? We put Shizuru in the middle here to deal with Bijanae. Let's see how it works out. Two bars though, four mid B. Pushed away, going for the dash up, trying to go for the throw. Still works out. Oh man, push back all the way into the corner. This has been the danger zone for FK. He's had a hard time escaping. Gets sent right back in there with the air legs. Oh, and just straight into the low. Just trying to keep the tape all at the high hose. Wow, what kind of pressure. It's scary because the threat of EX Crack Shoot is always there, right? So you're worried that the overhead is gonna come out and then you just get clipped by the low. Oh, but that step back into the EX. Good decision making here. A grip of damage as well. FK close to bringing this back in a big way. Purely jumps into the fireball that could have been disastrous. Great patience, has to be careful, gets the confirm there with the EX clone, but it's still not enough to get the kill. I'm surprised we actually went for the 2B there, the threat oh. of Wake Up TV. But the EX right away puts him down to the anchor here, FK, a must win situation. Iori, two and a half bars. Come on, FK, I predict this is going to game five, don't make me lose my points. Oh, nice anti-air. Every single fireball block adds up chip damage, but the 2D is enough. Checking the legs there, and now we are down to set point for Wero. And it's, we're going to see if this Cronin decision is going to work out. Lots come from it, 6A. A couple times in a row, actually. Already got him cornered, but the Rekkas buy some room. Yeah, and you saw that FK was trying to stay outside of that Rekka range. That's why we didn't rush in too hard in the corner. But here we go, utilizing 6A to try and get out. Trade not going to be in FK's favor, but still able to fight through. OTGs add an extra grip of damage. What a challenge. Oh, okay. Path level one. Let's hit a kill for both players. We do have Climax on the side, but there we go, going right over the fireball. FK takes it to game number five. And immediately with the fist pumps again, is just ready, feeling that energy, excited. You can tell one game away from either of these players. They're both on the verge. Take a sip of that Red Bull, too. <laughs> Listen to the power up. So you need that caffeine. It's going to give him wings. Hopefully, so he can soar all the way through this top eight here. Select order. Looks like we're gonna hit the order select though. Maybe we'll miss which we're gonna move Janae to the anchor here. So wants to potentially have a different matchup just to see against Cronin or potentially wants to just move Janae out of the way of Chizuru because that has been a uh, a volatile one. I mean, that's the thing about Wero's team. Every single one of these characters can be in any position, right? They yeah. all function on point, mid, or anchor. And I think that's one of the uh, one of the standout things about most of just like the top tiers in this game is that that is like one of the you are either so specialized and so good at your role that you're stuck there or you are kind of a jack of all. Yeah, and it allows you to really do what we're doing, right? Change order for matchups only. Here we go, final game of winners finals. 
Oh, nice footsies. Nice footsies. Are you serious? And doing the point blank tiger uppers too. Now Wero trying to fight out with the Rekas and the CPs. But with Ben Kang putting him right back in the corner. Nowhere to run. We're mixing in these overheads too. We haven't seen that at all this set. Yeah, bringing it out in the game five. There's the throw though. Opportunity continues oh to arise, but a safe jump. And all of that lead, all of that work just neutralized like that, evened up one more bad tiger knee and you lose Joe. That is so unfortunate. It didn't work, but I liked it. Honestly, two, it, it's the first time we've represented two reversals in a row. I really, I appreciate that decision. That's all right, Chizuru can't even things up. She's put in the work so far a lot tonight. Or this morning, I should say. Okay, good string. Just getting absolutely mauled here in the corner. This is what I was talking about. FK has a really difficult time escaping from Wero's corner pressure because Wero just sits right on top of you. It's not sitting back and waiting for you to jump out. It's I'm right on top of you, harassing you with buttons. And then if I get pushed out, I jump back in with CD. And it's all down to this four and a half bars. Oh my god. Oh, and that is not a great start. Not at all, but if anyone can make a reverse OCB, it is Cronin. And unfortunate there, trying to go for too many of these EXDP reversals. Yeah, whip in a weird spot. Good amount of damage. Wakes up, though. Weird situation. Whip for the run underneath. Does get back to corner control. Trying to harass with the 6A. CD connects, gets the stall. That's one character down, but F King still has a tall mountain to climb. Listen, CEO has been the home of a lot of ridiculous comebacks in KOF 15. This might be another one on the books. We've already had one this set, but that might be the nail in the coffin. Let's see how he handles it. Not quite. We don't have enough meter. Instead, we just go for the delayed record to push as far to the corner as possible. Wero understanding F King's weaknesses. To see what an anti air EX. EX! There it is! Wero moving on to grand finals winner side. Guaranteed top two, a 50 50 shot at the belt. It has a set to give a cushion potentially later. That is a big deal. Amazing stuff.